everyone it's Amanda from I Sew A Lot and this is uh, my video all about my uh, June makes so I'm going to jump uh, straight in I've made quite a few things this month and I've made practically everything that was in my plans um, apart from I didn't make sadly the Ogden cami yet so I still have that to make um, but I am going to make it my patterns cut out ready to go and I also didn't make another pair of the uh, By Hand London Holly uh, Palazzo pants um, because that lovely fabric that I got from Sewers Faction, the viscose, um, I am still undecided about whether they're right um, for that pattern or not. So uh, I'm going to keep hold of that fabric for a while and see where I go. So anyway, um, I am going to uh, jump right in. Um, obviously if you watched my last video, um, you will have seen, not my last one, the one before, um, you will have seen uh, my plans that um, I made my Sew Over It uh, vintage shirt dress for the Sew Together for Summer Challenge. Um, and on Instagram this week I've seen that all the winners have been picked, so congratulations to all of you. And I hear on the grapevine that potentially um, the lovely Sarah, Susie and Monica are thinking about running it next year. So um, that's fantastic because I think it's a really good challenge. And um, so yeah, that was really great. I love my dress and I have worn it already and it's really, really comfy. So uh, I'm really pleased with that. Okay, so uh, the next thing I made uh, is that which I'm wearing, which uh, like I said in my video, it is a Sew Over It Susie blouse. And it's from this really lovely um, pink, pale pink with grey flamingos peach skin. So that's like a crepe. Um, but it doesn't have the texture of crepe, oh, getting blown away. Um, it has a really smooth finish, there's no texture on there, um, but it is polyester. But um, I just love this print so much, and I've made something from the mustard colourway, so um, I've made the same blouse from the mustard colourway, so I went with that again. And to go with these, I have also made another pair of M7547 uh, high-waisted flared jeans. And these are from the denim that I showed you before from Higgs and Higgs and it's a stretch denim in a pale grey colourway so I'm going to show you both at the same time. So this is the blouse obviously and if I show you it untucked just so you can get an idea of the fit but I think I prefer it tucked in um, and these jeans are perfect for that and they have an overlap as you can see and I've added um, a press stud there's an invisible zip I really I've been wearing these so they're a little crumpled I'm afraid but I really like the pocket details they've got those big side pockets and then obviously two on the back um, I'm going to insert a picture here so you can see what they look like at the bottom because they're really wide leg um, I've, I've put a really wide hem on them as well and I'm really really pleased with them like so pleased with them on the last pair, the pair I made from normal denim, um, the, um, I had a bit of gape at the back. So when I made this pair, I still cut the waistband longer because I think there's some issue there with that waistband because it is incredibly small for the size of the trousers. So I cut that a bit longer and then I didn't um, ease the front in at all, but I did ease the back in to make sure that I eliminated that gape. Um, what else? Oh, I also, as I've decided from now on, I'm no longer going to sew faux flies because I think they're a complete waste of time and effort. So I didn't sew a faux um, fly on these. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but I've just top stitched uh, my seam down. Sorry, they are so crumpled, but like I say, I have practically not taken them off since I've made them because they're so comfy. And um, in this kind of weather when it's a bit warmer, I love the idea of white jeans, but I think you have to be um, practically a supermodel to pull them off. So, and as well, the um, concerns of spilling stuff on them all the time. So I think these are a nice um, alternative to white jeans because they're still really pale, but not the uh, bright white. So those are my first um, makes and for the next one I'm going to have to get changed so I'll be back in a minute. Okay so also from that lovely denim that I got from Higgs and Higgs if you watched my last video 
you will have seen I made um, this new look skirt I can't remember the pattern number but I'll put a picture of it here um, in my video um, I showed you how to put in an invisible zip and also made this skirt in just two minutes over an hour so it's pretty good but annoyingly as I said in my video I actually managed to cut the footage off of me uh, making the skirt and uh, dealing with the waistband which was a bit annoying so I just wanted to show you nice and close um, and explain to you what I actually did so as you saw in the video I stitched the uh, front of the waistband on um, then I put the zip in when the zip was in um, I had my facing fabric lying so um, it was actually right sides together then I s and obviously I'd pressed um, the bottom edge of my facing up as I'd said so I actually stitched down along the zip so that's then um, sewn, my f uh, sewn my facing close to my zip not too close though because with an invisible zip you don't want anything to get in the way um, and then where I'd pressed it under um, I actually stitched in the ditch and it was okay it's quite good um, which caught my facing on the other side um, but yes, I'm really pleased with this and I am so pleased with this denim. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, like I've said, it was from Higgs and & Higgs and they have a lot of different colours. I've got my eye on a sage green and also they do a red colourway which I really, really like. Um, as I've said, I've worn the jeans a lot. It's washed really, really well and it's really, really nice to work with. It presses really nicely. Um, all my seams inside look really nice and beautiful so yes I would definitely recommend it and I think it is 11 99 a meter I'll put all the details down below in the description box so you can have a look there if you uh, fancy um, some stretch denim it's got a really it's not too stretchy but it's got and it's got quite a bit of structure so it's just right for jeans denim skirts probably a Clio you would be able to make with it as well it would be perfect so um, the next thing I made was this lovely Greta top. Um, I have it tucked in, but as you can see, it's probably better if I sit down. It's got these really nice um, ties, tie detail on the shoulders, which I really, really like. It's a Seamwork magazine pattern. Oh, I haven't pressed my facing very well, it's actually poking out. But the one thing I will say about this tank is it is massive. And I'm not exaggerating, I made the small, no, I made the size 2, because my measurements were my f within that. Um, and I thought, oh, you know, it would be fine not to go with the finished measurements, it's supposed to be loose anyway. But it was massive. I think I took both of the sides in by an inch and a half, maybe. Um, so, yes, I mean, it's got darts. And I think even though I've taken it in, the darts need extending, I would say probably at least another inch for me. Um, but obviously the neckline, I'm really happy with the neckline because like I've said in my previous videos, for the silk cami, it's a bit gapy and I, I, I do get a bit annoyed with that. But this, um, I like the fact you can adjust it and it lays really, really nicely and flat. There's a facing in there and a facing on the back. Um, which obviously goes all the way around under the arms. Um, it's got a straight hem and yes, just two darts on the side. Really, really nice pattern. There's no interfacing. It's really loose and really flowy, really nice. I made this from a super, super lightweight viscose and I'm really happy with it. It's turned out really, really well. So also you've got a quick sneak peek of my ultimate trousers that I made as well and um, I'll post a picture here so you can see sort of the length and everything of these and these are from a stretch uh, cotton um, I don't think it it doesn't look like it's a sateen but I'm not sure but I know for definite that I got this stretch cotton from so over it and it was a couple of years ago but I think it might have been last year but they do still have it on the website because I checked the other day and it's really really nice quality um, it hasn't faded or anything when I washed it and um, it's not that crease when you get it out and it's got a really really good recovery so even though you wear them all day they still look exactly the same rather than sagging out which some stretch cottons do so I'm really pleased with these they're a bit of a work 
staple and a summer staple for me ultimate trousers which obviously brings me on to my next make which are these beautiful ultimate trousers that were my first post for the satisfaction blogger team and I'm really pleased with them I mean this fabric it's amazing I love it I love it so much and it goes really really nicely with my um, Greta tank um, the only thing about these trousers which is really annoying is I actually put the zip on the wrong side so I've got a right side zip instead of a left but to be perfectly honest <laughs> being left-handed right side zips are actually easier but um, yeah so that's the only issue that I have with these but that was my own fault because um, I wasn't concentrating clearly when I made them but if you I won't show you what they look like um, I might try and insert a picture but if you want any more details about how to add a waistband and about this lovely fabric and how I made them and my experience uh, go over to the satisfaction blog and you can check it all out there there's some more images there as well so yes I was really pleased with these and still super excited that I'm actually part of the blogger team and um, there's a new make on there um, by Samantha from So by the Seaside which is also beautiful so hop over there and have a look because it's it, she's made a, an amazing job she's made an errand skirt and it's beautiful so um, then I have uh, I think three more things to show you um, I've also made a white Astoria but I'm not going to show you that but um, you saw it at the end of my video where I'm wearing my uh, skirt that I've just made but I'll put an image here as well but the white Astoria I've been wanting to make one for a while um, because I think it's a staple it goes with everything especially in the summer and I just made that from a um, white cotton interlock jersey which I got from eBay I think it's called quality one fabrics but I'll try and put the link down below and it's a really nice quality and the um, jersey is really really white so I'm really pleased with that and I've worn that quite a lot as well but I won't show you that because obviously you know what an Astoria looks like especially if you follow me but yes so I have three more things to show you so I'll go and get changed and uh, I'll be back in a minute okay so my next make is the um, what is the pattern number uh, it is Buttrick but I don't know what the number is I'll put a picture here but it's the Colots uh, which were free with I think it was Love So magazine last month and they've been all over Instagram and everyone that's made them they look so great so I decided to jump on the um, Colots train and make my own um, and here they are I made them in a, a red wool I think it's called a worsted wool and they're quite high which I really like um, the only trouble is as you can see my hands uh, lengthwise just below the knee um, I'll try and insert a picture here so you can see the full length but my fabric choice was really really poor and to be perfectly honest they were just um, a wearable muslin because I had this uh, fabric in my stash it's wool which is not really what you want for winter I mean summer uh, more for winter but um, it's quite lightweight but actually it's too lightweight you can see through it so I need to make I've got some crepe ones planned I think some nice black crepe will be a um, staple so yes um, I'm really pleased with them they were so easy to sew as you can see they've got a side zip which um, went in really really well I'm really pleased with that um, the only thing is I would change I would put in because um, it's got a one piece waistband which I think the top of the zip where you have to snip it I don't really like that I like to be able to sew across the top of the zip because I think you get a neater finish um, but yeah the zip went in really really well so I'm really happy with that and I've worn them already and I had comments on them straight away um, so I don't know if it was because they were red I don't know but uh, so they're obviously quite in fashion at the moment so I think um, yeah I was really lucky I got some really nice comments so yes I've got some black ones planned and they would be really really nice in a wool for winter with black tights underneath so I might have to make some more because they were so quick honestly they took me I think about an, an hour and a half an hour and a quarter something like that so I'd definitely make them again okay so I've got two more things to show you so I'm gonna have to get changed so I'll be back in a minute okay so 
the uh, last two things I've made are from the same pattern and I said I was going to make these in my uh, plans video and it is actually um, the Sew Over It Betty dress and this is um, using the add-on pack that's on the uh, website for the v-neck and also as you can see I have added Gabbard skirt and I really love the back I think it's so pretty just above the knee and it's from this really lovely uh, flamingo fabric I don't know if you can see which um, I got from eBay last year but I have seen that Shona's just added it to the um, Sewisfaction um, website so you can get it over there and I have a feeling that it might be £8 a metre so absolute bargain so yes I have used the v-neck um, and the gathered skirt excuse the um, washing machine emptying and um, there is a tutorial on the website for adding a gathered skirt to this if you go on to I think it's tips and tricks and it shows you how to um, I think scoop out the neckline because I think that might have been before they gave they released the add-on pack it also shows you how to line the bodice I think and add a gathered skirt so if you check that out it's a really good um, blog post on there to to really make it your own um, and what I did is um, I've actually because the um, length of the bodice is actually um, slightly long for my frame so I've taken I think I took um, the five eighths of an inch off the shoulders but unfortunately on this version it has meant that my bust darts are slightly high so I do need to adjust my pattern I don't think anyone's going to notice apart from me but they are slightly high they could do with being sort of here so that is the five eighths difference so I will adjust my pattern and then that is the perfect pattern and I'll just try and show you a bit closer the back detail because I think it's so pretty it's such a pretty feature the V and the V it's really easy to do as well it looks complicated but it's not so I also made one from this really lovely um, Moda you can see that it's got a navy background um, quilt and weight cotton and on this one this was before I adjusted the length of the bodice so this one's a little bit longer and it, it comes slightly lower and that's the reason I have a little bit of gaping here on this version so that's the reason why I took the shoulders up but this one's really comfy it's a bit more um, has a bit more structure because this one I think is just a poly cotton blend but again I think this one's a Rosen Hubble one but this one's definitely a Moda one and I've searched for this but I can't actually find it anywhere online but it's really really lovely so yes that is it that is all my makes and I will be Hang on a minute, sweet pea. I'll do two sets. Okay, come on then. Quick then. Quick then. So, this is uh, Eden's cousin's robot that he has just brought round for Eden to play with because he loves it so much and is obsessed with robots. Okay, can I just finish now then? Mummy, can yeah. I just tell you that he's sending it to me? To me? To me, yeah. Okay. I don't know how many days for. Okay, I'll be in in a minute, okay? <laughs> okay, so um, that is it for today. Um, all of my makes. Um, I'm really pleased with all of them and I think my summer wardrobe might be close to complete. I've got a couple of uh, things planned for next month, but not too many. It's going to be quite nice and chilled out. So, um, yes, thanks for watching, um, click subscribe, oh, I need to also say that I have just noticed that I've reached 3,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing, I've just remembered something else as well, but anyway, the subscribers are absolutely amazing, and I'm so grateful for everyone um, subscribing, leaving the comments, likes, everything, it's so lovely, and all the comments are so nice. But one thing I do need to say about the comments is there are a couple of people who have been leaving me comments and unfortunately, um, for some reason, YouTube will not let me reply to your comments. So there is one that I think is called Oh Dear for definite and there's another one as well and I can't reply to you. I've tried and tried but for some reason my YouTube has blocked my reply. And also um, a lovely lady called I believe Brie um, emailed me through my blog with a really 
lovely wonderful comment and I believe that she watches my vlogs and um, if you are watching Brie I have tried to respond to your email which you sent which was absolutely lovely and such a kind thing for you to do but again um, there was something wrong with your email address and I can't reply to you but I just want to say that it was really kind of you to leave me send me such a lovely message um, about my particular blog post which I um, did think hard about writing so um, I just want to say that I have tried to reply to you I'm not being rude I really appreciate your comments but sometimes this uh, internet lark um, just gets in the way and I can't I can't reply so if you don't get a reply from me it's not because I'm ignoring you I read all my comments but there are certain comments that it won't let me reply to so anyway <laughs> that is it I'm back soon with my June makes no my July plans and yes thanks for watching I'll see you soon bye